Hello, we have Dominion League action again here. It's my second match. On the board, first thing that jumps out to me is possession. Very scary card. It, it can turn games around seemingly suddenly to me. So you have to think about it when you want to play, when you play a game with possession anyway. So my first inclination here was to try to ignore it, get money. Fast, buy provinces fast, and then possession isn't as good because you just have half the points and it doesn't matter what they do with your hand at that point. So I wanted to do that. Cards that will let me go for money strategy is Bandit Camp mostly. Bridge Troll is good too, I think. Especially if your opponent tries to go for the possession, that one coin difference can be significant. Anyways, you open arms on three here because it is better than playing your coppers. You can get something more expensive, which I do. I pick up a horse traders here. My thinking was that horse traders would get me to five, which would get me to bandit camp and hopefully press for this money strategy. However, seeing my opponent go for wishing well gives me an idea of how they want to play this game. They want to go for a lot of wishing wells. Wishing well is your only source of plus draw, a successful plus draw plus cards. A successful wishing well is a lab effectively. So my opponent here opens with the wishing well and it gives me a clue as to what they want to do. So I try to counter that. I don't want to give my opponent 10 wishing wells. That's just way too much. You just play wishing well, wish for wishing well and you draw your deck that way, mostly. And so I buy a wishing well to counter, to cut into the amount of wishing wells that my opponent would have. My opponent with the wishing well goes for a bishop, which I found a bit strange. I can see it on a possession board, but not necessarily opening with it. So we'll see how that turns out through the rest of the game. Here I play my wishing well and I wish for copper, but that doesn't work out. Unfortunately, I pick up a second wishing well here. Similarly, I think my opponent's wishing well fails and the bishop comes out and both of us trash estates. So people tell you not to open with bishop because it lets your opponent thin as well as you and the points advantage that you get uh, may not and is usually not significant enough to warrant opening bishop. But we'll see. With the possession on the board, it's a bit better to open with it. Here I realized something that I didn't realize when I first bought the horse traders. So this is luckily, uh, lucky and good too. I can buy arms with the horse traders, pick up a four cost, and then with the three coin, pick up a three cost. And there's good three cost on the board. Scheme is good, wishing well is good, silver is not bad. I pick up a silver and a wishing well here. So now my strategy is get money and get wishing wells so that my opponent doesn't have a lot of them. I don't know how good that is, but that is what I'm doing at this point in the game. So here I pick up a bandit camp. Finally, that horse traders is able to get me up to five. So the bandit camp is in accordance with the money idea. So I think it is okay at this point what I'm doing is not too crazy, not too bad, but maybe I should be concentrating more on money. Maybe the wishing wells should all be silver. Because if they were all silver at this point, this would be province very quickly. So maybe that was better. But this is what I'm doing. I wish for a copper here. I think it's most plentiful. I get a state. Too bad. Here, I should not have played this wishing well, but I didn't think. Because I don't want to trigger this reshuffle. Three wishing wells are out of it. Plus a silver. However, I played the wishing well, so now I have to guess. I try to guess copper because I think that's most plentiful, unsuccessful again. So here on six, I have to think about a few things. I noticed my opponent bought a potion on their last turn. I thought it was a bit premature, they don't have any extra money. So I have to think about this possession coming and what to do with it. And how do I want to play my strategy at this point? Do I still want to continue getting money and wishing wells or now do I want to play possession because with all these wishing wells in my deck I can draw a little bit more than usual 
do I uh, get gold here? Do I get bandit camp? Do I get potion at this point on six? I opt for the gold here, still trying to put some money in my deck. Hopefully, I can get uh, provinces. So, my opponent plays a wishing well and another one, and we both trash estates again. So, I have one estate left in my deck. So it's very unlikely that I'll be guessing that with my wishing well. So with six here, my opponent thinks for a bit and picks up a festival. So a bit of extra money in their deck and it'll help to get to that possession. Here I get our spoils and with the horse traders I'm able to do this, I wouldn't say trick, but make use of arms by buying it and picking up our wishing well here. So on this arms play here i can go for the potion now and it is what i end up doing so i'm now switching over from what i wanted to do originally which was pursue a pure money strategy so now i'm going for this possession thing and hopefully i can play it frequently with all the wishing wells and whatnot i do have a silver and a gold in my deck i don't think it's terrible but it could be better. They could be wishing wells or two. I, I don't know. They could be something else at this point. So my opponent picks up a wishing well on arms here. I play my horse traders and I have up to seven if I choose to spend these spoils. I opt to keep it in my deck because seven isn't really an attractive number. Eight, I'd have picked up a province, but seven. I don't want to spend these spoils just for a bandit camp or a gold. I'd rather pick up the two wishing wells. So I believe the wishing well split is 5-5 five, five here. And we'll see how the game progresses now that the wishing wells are empty. We, I get rid of my last estate here. So that is one less thing for wishing well to guess. So that is quite good for me. I think my opponent still has an estate. They eventually get around to trashing it, but not right now. So they have the ability to do this arms for a horse traders and buying a scheme. Scheme is quite good with possession. You can just keep sticking back your possession or your bishop on top of your deck, whatever you like. So you can possess them every turn. You know how nice that is. I pick up a second bandit camp here. The moral of the story for this game for me is that I didn't know what to do. So I was just playing reactive dominion instead of playing with a plan here. With the potion in my hand here, I trigger this reshuffle because I want to get to possession. So here I have quite a bit of wishing wells and I feel confident that I'll be able to get there. And I am here already with seven potion. Guessing coppers with these wishing wells because I believe it's the most plentiful card in my deck. This last guess is also a copper here. And I think it's successful. So with the horse traders play, I'm able to get up to 10 potion. So I made it. I got there first. So that's always good. Always comforting. Because if your opponent gets possession first, they can play it and p potentially mess up your deck so that you never ever have the opportunity to buy possession after that. So I pick up the possession and a scheme here. All the wishing wells are done. Otherwise, I'd have picked one up. So here, I sped up the game a bit at this point because nice things are about to happen. I say nice sarcastically. So my opponent gets three wishing wells down and has a bit of a think here. This is the turn where a bit of a strange play is made. I don't know what they had in their hand, but the bishop comes out and trashes, trashes the horse traders. So that is what it is. I don't know why that happened. And now my opponent here with four picks up a scheme. So schemes are starting to become more important. Well, especially for me because I have the possession. So here wishing well and... So with my wishing wells at this point, I'm sort of sticking to the rule. Eight here is a province uh, easily. There's no plus buy. I don't want to get anything else. So yeah, right. I was saying with the wishing well, I'm sticking to the rule. My opponent gets rid of the last estate there. The rule of if I have good cards in my hand. So if I have two wishing wells and I play one, 
I'll wish for something bad because I know if something good is on top of my deck, I can get it anyway with the second wishing well. So this is what the rule that I'm playing with with the wishing wells mostly at this point. So I get my first possession off here. Woohoo, good stuff. Play the schemes first so that I have a better idea of what is left in my opponent's deck so that this wishing well is likely to be more successful. So here, with on my possession team with him, now I want to guess for something good because I if I guess for something bad and get it, then it won't be on the top of his deck, right? Instead, if I guess for something good, I remove that from the top of his deck and there's more chance that his hand is worse, if that makes any sense. But I don't get anything great there, I just buy a scheme on the possessed tail, which isn't great, I was hoping for more. I, could, I didn't want to play the bishop, obviously, to give my opponent more points. Here, I'm still trimming coppers with the bishop and my opponent gets to possession. So now we each have one and we now have to adapt to the threat of possession. Unfortunately, I didn't get my scheme down last turn with the possession, so it is unlikely that I'm able to possess my opponent here, which is a bit bad because my opponent... Well, I want to be able to build a possession every turn, basically, to try and mess up my opponent's hand as much as possible. So here with four potion, now I consider between scheme and bishop. I pick up a scheme here, trying to get as many schemes in my deck as possible. So here, my opponent's deck is, is, is thinner and more uniform, so it's quite likely that they play their possession here. And I'm a bit scared because I have three wishing wells in hand, however it does not come on this turn, which means it's likely going to come next turn. On three, my opponent picks up a scheme and sticks the bishop back because they anticipate a possession oh, coming out from my hand here. So here I play again play the scheme first before the wishing well so that I have a better idea of what is left in my deck. Here I wish for potion. This is probably bad because again I'm sticking to the rule guess something bad but I could have gone for copper. It was bad and also more plentiful so I feel like that's the better thing to do. Six here, yeah, this is not a great hand. I can't buy province. I don't get to play my possession. So this is not a great hand. And it could have been avoided if, maybe, if I guessed better with the wishing wells. So now I have some choice with scheme here. Fairly certain that possession is coming this turn. So I just stick schemes back instead of bandit camps or wishing wells. So I'm attempting to counter the possession here by doing this. My opponent gets rid of their potion, so they don't want any more possessions. If anything, they'll buy it off my hand. And with the arms, they get another bishop. So they have quite a bit of bishops, I think. Maybe three or four at this point. So here my opponent has a choice between possession and province. You can play the horse traders, get rid of the possession and potion to get eight. Instead, my opponent picks up a Second possession, spending my spoils away and top decking nothing. I think this is the that is the correct play there to get the second possession. I'd have loved to pick up to pick up a second possession, but it wasn't to be. However, I pick up a second province here. I know the points are kind of comparable. My opponent plays possession again here, and on six buys a gold. So here. I get possessed, this is not my doing, this is my opponent telling me what to do, playing these schemes before the wishing well again. They guess copper and get it correctly. Here I have seven and my opponent can decide what he wants. Maybe it's a gold because last time they bought gold. I have seven and two buys too, so maybe we can buy pearl diver or bandit camp. I wouldn't get pearl diver because it'll get in the way of your wishing wells. So there's some bug just for people watching with the possession and VP counters. I didn't realize it at this point, but I soon realize it. It adds on your opponent's victory point, the VP tokens to your score, and it gives a false reading. So that's just something to keep in mind. If 
it happens that you have possession with victory point tokens on board. My opponent on seven goes for a scheme and another bishop. So they have a heap of bishops. I have one now, and I think like all now is a good time to have the bishop, especially that possession is live, meaning we have them in our decks, and also is more likely that if I play my bishop. My opponent won't want, to, won't want to trash anything. So here, I, again, I have the option here of picking up a second possession or province. And I pick up the province. So that may be a misplay. Maybe it should have been the second possession rather than the province there. The reason for the province is that I'm, I'm trying to throttle the province. I'm trying to get as many as possible to make possessions influence on this game as minimal as possible. So here I possess my opponent and the two terminals are possession and bishop, none of which I want to play. And I pick up a duchy here over a bandit camp, which is the other thing I was considering. So I am starting to green a bit heavily here. Because with two possessions in my opponent's deck to my one, he'll be possessing me more than I'll be possessing him. And if I make my deck full of junk, then he won't be able to make, get much use out of that possession. So at this point, that is what I do. Trying to junk up my deck with victory points so that my opponent can make little use of the cards there. So he possesses me and ends up with really a bad turn. That is probably subpar for my deck. Only two coin. Picks up an estate, which I found a bit strange, but it is what it is. Here, luckily, I end up with the good hand and get a province. So I stick back the bishop here because I believe my opponent is sticking back that possession. So he's going to come every turn on me here. So with the bishop back, that's one less card he can play and make use of. On four here, my opponent gets another bishop. So now you have to look at piles. There's two schemes and there's four bishops left and there's plus buy around. So can go down quite easily especially with arms on the board here I'm happy to see my opponent only has seven they go for a pearl diver and a duchy at this point wishing well I'm gonna guess for something bad here because I have the scheme in hand I have something good I can draw it anyway uh, it was a province I guess not province on arms here I pick up another bishop and I'm able to stick my possession back and this Hand for my opponent is not great. I can spend their spoils and pick up a duchy at least though. And I skip past one of their possessions. So hopefully I don't get possessed this turn and I can play my possession again here. So here my opponent, uh, my opponent plays a bishop and then a possession, which is the correct order to play those cards in. If you play possession first and then bishop, your opponent can somewhat set their hand up for you so you can have you can make less use of it so here this is a possessed turn playing a lot of wishing wells my opponent can get a duchy if they play the bishop but opts not to do so and instead picks up in another estate here so wishing well is gonna guess another wishing well I believe no, I guess for gold, because I wanted to get at least a duchy this turn. However, I only have four coin. I'm gonna save the spoils. Maybe it'll come later with more money and get me to province. Pick up an estate. Still sticking with the plan of making my deck full of junk. My opponent trashes a bishop with a bishop and possesses me here. I have at least duchy on board, so this is not too happy for me to see here. Because I would have liked to have the duchy. can get duchy. So my opponent does get the duchy here. I have a turn now. Play scheme. Wishing well. Thinking about what to guess here. Because I have quite a bit of money at this point. So I'm trying to get to province here. I guess province at this point. And here... I don't want to trash the possession, so I have to trash the province to get up to 8. So I think I gain, what, 4 or 5 points from that play. 
I rebuy my province here and top deck the possession. So this is my up. So this is the mistake I made here. I played bishop first. No, no, I played my possession first, then my bishop. So if you notice, my opponent trashed a gold out of their hand. So I don't have access to that gold now, which I would have had access to if I probably would have had access to if I played them in the in the other order. If I played bishop first and then possession and maybe i could have gotten the province i have i would have had at eight dollars at my available to me there so that was a misplay and it seemed to be significant i think because it denied me from getting the province there potentially anyway my opponent probably would have been tracking my deck and would have known that possession would have been there so here my opponent spends two of my spoils Picks up a duchy, sad days, sad days, scheme, followed by a wishing well. At this point in the game, I have no idea what to guess with these wishing wells. The deck is just full of too many cards for me to keep track of and to know what's going on here. Here, I'm, I have a choice between trashing this bishop or this gold. I opt to go for the gold at this point because I want the points. And I don't think I'm going to see that gold for the rest of the game because piles are quite thin there's one dutch you want to stay left here so here my opponent has a great turn spending three spoils not sure why they spent the third spoil they didn't have to but they spent it and has enough for a province and that is effectively the end of the game there i was hanging in there until that point but with that province i don't think i can do enough to catch up so here my opponent possesses me and is just going to buy an estate and I have a sad turn here all I can do is pick up a couple silvers in desperation really and possession means that the game is over arms means my opponent buys a scheme and arms are from me means my opponent buys another scheme so that's the end of the game thanks for